This is George Poinar speaking. I've been studying amber since 1975, from collecting it in mines and along the sea coast to determining its botanical source and describing a range of fossils in amber from both tertiary and Cretaceous periods. This is one of the pieces that we were able to collect from the Dominican mines, and it identifies the plant that produced the amber. This is a petal of the El Garobo tree, which was probably a canopy tree in the ancient Dominican amber forest. Here you have a stamen of the El Garobo tree. And this is fantastic because as a stamen fell, it was shedding pollen, and a stream of pollen came out in the amber. In fact, some have even made attempts to germinate these pollen grains. I don't know of any successful results, however, but they look just as if they had fallen out of a recent anther. Beautiful. The ant here belongs to a group of army ants, and this particular genus of ant especially targets nests of wasps. And this ant is returning from a raid, and it was carrying a wasp pupa under it. This is a very interesting case of predator-prey association, and it's the only one I know of in amber where you have evidence of prey by this group of army ants. Now, vertebrates are rare, it's true, and here we have a beautiful gecko that is preserved in the amber, and the lizard we can identify as a member of the genus Spherodactylus, and this one was probably up in the tree, and maybe the lizard was attacked by a predator. There's several possibilities here, and it tells us something about the vertebrates that occurred in the amber forest. Now, when it comes to birds and mammals, we have mostly evidence from feathers and hairs. We don't have any complete bird, as far as I know. So, what we have to do is to try to determine the type of bird that produced this feather based on characters of the plume here. And in this case, this came from a picolet or a type of woodpecker. And this is the only feather that's been determined so far in amber down to a particular genus of birds. Our studies on the ecosystem of the ancient Dominican amber forest provides clues to understanding our own ecosystem and where it may be heading. As with many other things, discovering the past sometimes asks more questions than it answers, and uh, these are left for the next generation to solve.